Hey guys, I'm Rascal999 and I'm going to be running you through a C programming tutorial today. Uh, this is fir this is my first of hopefully a series of C programming tutorials which uh, are going to focus on some basic C programming. Um, this tutorial assumes a very you know it assumes a basic knowledge of computers. You should know um, the difference between a source file and a compiled program. You should know what a compiler is and you should have installed on your machine a compiler like GCC or something similar. If you don't have knowledge of any of the things I've just said, then I strongly suggest you look up on um, source files, um, programming languages, you know, just just to get a rough idea of what's going on here. Because I'm not going to be explaining um, the you know the ins and outs of a compiler. So. Ish. I'm going to assume you have some basic knowledge and if you don't uh, head over to Google and do some research before you dive into this tutorial. Okay, um, if you're using Windows, I'm I'm using Ubuntu, um, then I suggest you download a uh, package known as MinGW, which is Minimalist GNU for Windows. Um, in this package is uh, the GCC compiler, which is it was being compiled to run um, in Windows. Um, you'll be able to create EXEs using this um, compiler and you'll be able to follow this tutorial um, pretty much exactly how I'm saying it so you won't have a problem if you use MinGW. Okay, um, I'm gonna start writing the C program now so let's head over and start writing it. Okay, <coughs> this first line include standard io.h this is a, um, a pre a, this is a preprocessor instruction and it basically states that this program is going to need some functions from the standard input output library um, because we're doing a hello world program this um, function is going to be printf which basically uh, this function prints uh, stuff to the terminal or shell. Um, so once we've done that we're going to uh, write our main function. Um, our main function, the main function is the first place that C looks for um, instructions to execute. So a main function is a requirement in all C programs and you can't run without it so um, this line here int c basically declares a, a function main with a return type of int which is short for integer um, you don't have to it doesn't have to have a return type but for the sake of this tutorial and for good practice I'm gonna start using I'm gonna be using it all the time so well using it where it's appropriate to get you into the habit of doing it as well so it's staying there okay um, it has no parameters so we don't have to put anything between these uh, braces here and um, sorry, between these brackets and uh, everything between these braces is considered the body of the main function. Um, you d you need these here to uh, basically say that this is the main function. This is its contents. Okay. Um, this line here, printf, basically states that we're going to be printing output to the screen. Um, printf is a function, like main is a function and one of the parameters of the printf function is um, the output you want to be put onto the screen. Um, in this case it's hello world as indicated by the uh, content in the, the stuff in the speech marks. Um, notice that we have a backslash n here. Um, this is interpreted by C as a special character um, which is basically the, ret the return character so it, it kind of prints a new line on the screen for you. Um, return 0 uh, is a uh, basically return 0 to whatever called it which means that the function ran successfully there wasn't any uh, errors or problems. Um, if a function returns non-zero so any integer that is not 0 um, then it's, con it's considered that that function didn't run um, correctly uh, an error was produced. Um, it's not a showstopper it's just an indicator for other functions and it's something that you'll be using a lot as you start to program in Seymour. 
um, that your program will compile without it, but I suggest you stick it in there for good practice. Um, notice the semicolons at the end of each statement in the main function. Um, they they're basically statement terminators, and and I, they are required in most cases. Um, you'll see some examples where they're not needed, but that's not until later on. Um, and notice I've got some indents here. Um, this again isn't a requirement, but it is uh, good coding practice because it allows you to see mm, what's what. Um, it's much easier to read an indented program than it is to read a program that's all on, you know, all at the same point like this. Um, it may not look it right now, but trust me, it, it gets quite difficult as your programs get bigger. Okay, so this is our um, C, C file, our source file. Uh, if we go to our compiler, GCC, um, we type GCC and then the source file, which is hello.c, um, and then we use the O, uh, the o flag, which basically it, it says where the output or where the compiled program is going to go, and we're going to direct it to hello, which is the file. Um, in uh, Windows, you'll be able to then type hello uh, .exe um, and it'll work. Um, with Ubuntu or Lin uh, with Linux Ubuntu, um, you do dot f dot slash hello and you have your program. Um, notice that the uh, it looks all good, but you you know if I didn't have this the uh, I didn't have this backslash n here, uh, recompile and run. You'll notice that uh, return is no longer there. The new line's gone. Um, this isn't C's fault. The, the computer's doing exactly what it's told. It's just you're not formatting, so you need to include that really. So once you've done that, yeah, there you go. Um, one thing to remember is uh, if you change your source code, um, the output program will not be different until you compile it again. So every time you save and you want to um, test out these changes, make sure you test and then recompile. Um, that's all I'm going to focus on in this tutorial. Uh, my next tutorial is going to focus on declaring variables and possibly some math. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'm Rascal999 and you can check out my website at rascal999.co.uk. Righto. Bye-bye.